Sir, two of them are wounded. It's Lathrop and Odell. Beam the wounded directly to sickbay. Where is Lieutenant Foster? Would you mind explaining exactly what happened? It... it was the Borg, sir. When we activated the pattern enhancers, they must have been able to beam in. They took Foster and the Isodesium. They caught us completely by surprise. They were in and out before we could even react. Ms. Murphy, you are dismissed. Could you not have prevented the Borg from taking the Isodesium? Sir, I didn't want to take the chance I might hit Foster. That is a chance you should have taken, Mr. Monroe. What? There is such a thing as acceptable losses. Had you fired, it is likely that the Borg would not have the Isodesium we need. And Foster might be dead. Possibly. But your emotional decision may have cost the lives of every member of this crew. Perhaps next time, you will consider this. Prepare a full report. I will summon you when we determine what action to take. I just don't believe there was nothing they could do. Sir. Am I interrupting something? Shall I speak freely? Go ahead. Honestly, Monroe, I don't know how it could have gone so poorly. Ken, Foster, <sighs> Odell, and we lost the Isodesium. What are you trying to say? I'm saying someone must be the boy. That's all. Hey, Monroe. I heard Odell's gonna make it. The doc says he got to him just in time. Monroe, I've been working on 7 Zymon. It's coming along. Should be ready for field use pretty soon. wasn't supposed to happen. How'd the Borg get here? Rick, relax. Relax? Relax? Those Borg killed Ken. I'm gonna go over there and personally break every one of their grimy necks with my own bare hands. Hey, Monroe. We're going over there, right? We gotta teach them not to mess with Starfleet. For Ken! Rick, look. We can't just go over to a Borg ship for revenge. Y yeah Well, what about Foster, huh? He might still be alive. We gotta save him. They've probably assimilated him already. Don't say that, man! We can get him. We're a professionally trained hazard team. We'll get him back and give him some for Ken. Celsius. Alex, look, if you're blaming yourself, don't. None of us saw it coming. We couldn't have done anything. I know. Jill. I don't know what we were thinking. We, we weren't ready for this. This is crazy. We're dead in space. We're, we're not going to make it out of here. Crewman, get a hold of yourself. We'll make it. If you say so, Monroe. Rick. Don't talk to me, Monroe. I'm wound up. I'm a quantum torpedo ready to blow, man. Maybe you should go to the holodeck and blow off some steam, Rick. Nah, I'm saving it all up for the Borg. Liz. Something wrong? Mitch. One thing I don't understand, why would the Borg take Foster and the Isodesium in the first place? Who knows? I just hope we can get them back.
Michael, can't you see him working? Hey, Monroe. I hope they're sending us over there. I know we can get Foster and the Isodesium back. Tuvok to Monroe. Report to Astrometrics immediately. Deck 8, Astrometrics. Look, Foster's alive. We can still save him. That is a possibility. You may well have the chance to find out. What? Though it goes against my better judgment, you are next in line for command of the hazard team. We are going to infiltrate the Borg cube. I take it you know Seven and Ensign Kim. Seven and I were going over the Ethereum's data, and we've located a Borg cube here in the dampening field with us. The vessel appears to be heavily damaged. Monroe, you and the Hazard team are going to beam over there and get back the Isodesium. And Foster? Ensign, we're not even sure he's still alive, but if it's possible to rescue him, then yes, by all means. But the Isodesium is of the highest priority. Seven will be joining you on this mission. And Ensign, you are now officially in command of the Hazard Team. Yes, sir. Seven has prepared a plan of action. Since we don't know where the Borg may be storing the Isodesium, I've chosen a beam in point within reasonable proximity to a primary sub processing matrix. From there, I should be able to determine the exact location of the Isodesium. Why not beam directly to the Matrix? We do not wish to alert the Borg. The beam in point is in an area of low importance. There is also an assimilation chamber en route. It is possible that Lieutenant Foster is as yet unassimilated and being held there. Hopefully, they'll be too busy repairing their ship to worry about a few dwarf passers. Sounds good. Get in there. Get the Isodesium. And rescue Foster if you can. Yes, Captain. I will join you and your team in the transporter room. Mr. Monroe, I trust your performance will surpass your previous efforts. Once we have the Isodesium, we beam straight back here. Any questions? Yeah. Why aren't I on this mission? If we're gonna give the Borg some payback, you're gonna need some extra manpower. This isn't a revenge mission, Rick. Our mission is to get the Isodesium back. And rescue Foster. If possible, yes. As for firepower, Seven's Infinity Modulator prototype is ready for field testing. If the Borg turn nasty, we'll be more than ready for them. It is unwise to underestimate the Borg. Yeah, see? You're gonna need me to help eliminate some Borg. Uh, no offense, man. None taken. Beesman, I know you're upset about Ken and Foster, but killing a bunch of Borg isn't gonna bring them back. I need cool heads. You're gonna have to learn to control yourself before I can assign you to another mission. Dismissed. Monroe, c come on! I said dismissed. Oh, you're loving this, aren't you? If there are no further delays... Energize. Alright team, just keep to yourselves and they should ignore us. This isn't a simulation. So stay sharp.
Look out! What are you doing? Sir, he's coming right at us. Should I take him down? Take out that generator. Take cover! They must have adapted. Great. Rescue Foster. Over here! Monroe, please. Do something. Go, Monroe. endangered our mission, Ensign. You did your best, Monroe. We must continue with our mission to retrieve the Isodesium. There's another one. How many are there? 